Hi, in this particular video we're going to look at plotting inequalities on a graph. Uh, it's a GCSE question, round about level 4 or 5. Fairly straightforward because what we're actually doing is plotting these as lines on the graph at least first. So the first thing is I've got x is greater than or equal to 2. Well the first thing I need to do is I need to work out where x equals 2 is on the graph that they're given to me. Okay, well, where x equals 2, let's say I've got 2, 4, or I've got 2, 8, they're all coordinates where x equals 2. So if I plot those on the graph, I've got 2, 4 looks a little bit like that, and 2, 8 looks a little bit like that. So in other words, along this line, this vertical line, is where x equals 2. So let me just draw that up on the board. The thing I'm going to do also is I'm going to make it a solid line. And the reason I'm going to do that is because it's equal to 2, it's so it's greater than or including 2. And the common convention is to draw that as a solid line as opposed to this one here, which is going to be a dash. OK, so let's just draw that. I'm going to turn my back to the camera. OK, so we'll just draw that like that. OK, and this line is where x equals 2, OK, and I know that it's going to be greater or equal to 2, so therefore the inequality is going to be towards the right-hand side. OK, so I've put little arrows along like that. OK, next one is this one, y is greater than x. Well, y equals x is a line that goes diagonally across like this, where 1 when x is 1, y is 1, where x is 2, y is 2, and so on. However, as I mentioned before, I'm going to draw that as a dash line because it doesn't include the value of x. OK, so again, I'm going to turn my back to the board. OK, so I'm just going to move this along like that. Hopefully you can see this OK. All righty, and I've drawn that as a dash line. I'm also going to say that because y is greater than x, I'm going to put my arrows here. OK, so in other words, it's just to remind me that values are going to be on the left-hand side of that dash line. OK, this is the final one. x plus y is greater than or equal to 6. And this is usually the one that causes a few problems for people. The easiest way of doing that is just to change the equation around. So if x plus y is greater or equal to 6, let's just change it to y um, equals 6 minus x. OK, what I've done there is I've just used a little bit of uh, algebraic manipulation there. I've said that x plus y equals 6 and therefore y equals 6 minus x. And it just makes my calculations a little bit easier. OK, now I've got values of uh, x all the way along here. I'm not going to worry too much about them because I happen to know this is going to be a straight line, so I only need to plot a couple of different points. And the points I'm going to choose is when x equals uh, 0, 3 and 6, and that'll just make it a lot easier for me. OK, well when x equals 0, then y equals 6 minus 0, well, 6 minus 0 is going to be 6. So when x equals 0, y equals 6. When x equals 3, 6 minus 3 is going to be 3. And when x equals 6, 6 minus 6 is going to be 0. Hopefully you can see that. OK, and if you've worked with linear equations on graphs, that shouldn't be too much of a mystery for you. OK, I'm going to plot those particular points. I've got 0, 6, which is up here. Uh, I've got 3, 3, which is about, ooh, around about there, and I've got 6, 0, which is about there. Now, it's also, as I mentioned before, it's equal to, so therefore I'm going to make that a solid line. Turn my back to the camera again. <laughs> OK, and I'm going to draw that line in something like, ooh, that. OK, so... Um, it's going to be greater than or equal to 6, so it's actually going to be the inequality that's bounded by this whole area in here. So I mentioned before, it's going to be this side of the y equals x line, this side of the x equals 2 line, and this side of the x plus y is greater or equal to, so the inequality is bounded in that region there. 
Okay, I hope that's okay for you. It's a fairly high level GCSE question. Please do have a look at the rest of the videos in this playlist. Add a comment below, always come back to you, and I look forward to seeing you inside the next video. Thank you.